Hello and welcome to the Google Analytics tutorial series. I'm Matt Landers, Head of Developer Relations for Google Analytics. This series is a deep dive into all the features that Google Analytics has to offer. We're not just going to talk about each feature and how it relates to your business objectives, but we're going to actually implement it on a new website that we create during the series. The first thing that we're going to do is create a new Google Analytics account and a new property. Then we're going to create a brand new website and set it up with Google Analytics. And we'll go through every step along the way. After that, we'll be able to see what we get from Google Analytics right out of the box. We'll be able to see automatically collected events about what our users are doing on our site, like scrolling, clicking buttons, viewing pages. And that's going to give us some insight into what we can do to improve our site so that we can meet our business objectives. For instance, let's say that we have a newsletter sign up on our website. And we want to be able to segment our users into those who have signed up for the newsletter and those that have not. And then we'll be able to use that data in our reports to see what's different about the users that are signing up and the users that aren't. And then we can target more users through Google Ads or through our social media campaigns that look more like the users that are signing up so that we can improve our conversion rate on our site. And that's what Google Analytics is all about, is giving you those insights into the business objectives that you want to meet. And in this series, we're going to cover exactly what it takes to implement those features so that you can meet your business goals. We're not going to leave out any steps along the way. So if there's code that needs to happen on your website, we're going to walk through that code in the video. And I know that not everyone watching is a developer, but that's OK. I really want you to understand what it takes to implement these features so that then you can hand that off to the people who are developing your website. Because at the end of the day, the data that we get into Google Analytics informs us on what we should be doing to our marketing funnel. And a lot of times that means changing our website, improving the user experience of how a user consumes the information on it, and then takes the action that we want them to take. And we need to implement different things on our website to make that experience better for the user. Finally, we plan for this series to continue for a while. So if we don't cover a topic that you're interested in, please join the Discord server and ask us there or leave a comment on one of the videos. We'll be monitoring that, and if we get enough response, we'll definitely create a video related to that topic. All right, now that the logistics are all out of the way, we can go to our first video and we can implement Google Analytics on our site. Happy measuring. Mm -hmm.